Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday the 13th. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather will stay gray and overcast today. Maybe a touch of light rain this morning, but generally speaking, the really... Heavy rain is out of here for a while, but a cold shot coming Saturday. Look out for that. We'll check some of the views around the state this morning. Uh, we'll start with the Trustville Sky Cam overlooking Chalkville Mountain Road, and it's uh, cloudy and foggy there. Pretty much the same scene from Gadsden. Kind of hard to see the lights of the city down below. And our Sky Cam at Jasper. Had a great, great crowd last night. We did our weather tour there last night. Thanks to everybody for coming out and uh, our next stop will be next week, a week from tomorrow night, down in Clanton. And we look forward to that. All right, uh, the trough axis will be swinging through today, and as that moves away from us, the uh, rain moves out. Now, the clouds will hang tough probably. I don't think we see any sun until tomorrow, at least for most of the state. Temperatures this morning are in the 40s and low 50s, and uh, they won't move much today. We'll figure maybe low to mid 50s but not as cold as yesterday. Yesterday was colder than we had bargained for. Uh, many spots were sitting in the low 40s at mid-afternoon with rain falling. It was a cold, miserable, wet day. And around the nation, I'd see those numbers are somewhat seasonal. Uh, the warm air is over South Florida, uh, watching colder air over Canada. And again, as a big trough forms, it's going to turn cold very quickly for one day here on Saturday. Severe weather possibilities later today. North Florida, South Georgia, Jacksonville, Valdosta, Lake City, uh, Tallahassee, Apalachicola, and that's a small slight risk. And here's a good-looking map. No rain for the next five days, at least of significance. We'll have a you know touch of drizzle or light rain this morning, but probably nothing to measure. This is through Monday morning of next week at uh, 6 o'clock. But just beyond that, rain will come back late Monday night and Tuesday, as you will see. This is the GFS, the 06Z run, valid at noon today. This is at 500 millibars. Trawl fax is coming through. Surface low northeast of here near Asheville, North Carolina. And again, a cloudy, drizzly, damp day with a high between 50 and 55. But tomorrow the sun will return. It'll feel good. Hi tomorrow, uh, upper 50s, maybe touching 60. That'll be nice. Now, Friday, the first of two fronts kind of comes in here. You can see how the thickness values are coming down up in Huntsville. Their high could be closer to 50. We'll say mid to upper 50s here. And look at that. I mean, that is a very sharp trough on Saturday for the east, but it's very progressive. So it's going to be a quick in, quick out for the cold. Uh, the 540 thickness line is way down in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, and notice the GFS is dry. This is the European valid Saturday at 6 o'clock. Very similar. And again, with thickness numbers like that, I don't think we get out of the 30s. A chilly north wind. Uh, but note, with that forcing, with that trough, it will probably squeeze out a few snow flurries. Uh, you don't see a lot of colors on here because flurries, there's not enough rain to measure, not enough snow to measure. But we'll mention flurries, temperatures in the 30s, a chilly north wind. This is Sunday. Notice how the cold air pulls out pretty quickly. Um... You know, we'll be down in the low to mid-20s. We'll say 20 to 25 uh, early Sunday morning. But the high should recover nicely. We should be up in the uh, low 50s, maybe low to mid-50s Sunday afternoon. It's a very quick recovery. And then Monday, a southerly breeze kicks in. We rise back up into the low 60s, and a storm system forms off to the west. A uh, surface low is near Lake Texoma with rain breaking out over the Arklatex region. And this is Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. local time. Pretty decent trough to the north, surface low near Cincinnati, rain and storms passing through. Really, there's not enough return flow for instability to kick in, so this, for now, is not a severe weather look. There might be a strong storm, but uh, uh, I, I just don't think we have enough uh, juice for severe weather. And that'll move out quickly Wednesday of next week, a week from today, that would be dry with temperatures about where they should be, 50s and 30s. But it's an active pattern. Let's go out there three more days. This is the 21st, surface low north of here, rain and storms. 24th, surface low northwest of here, rain and storms. 27th, <laughs> I mean, every three days we're getting one of these things, rain and storms. And now, look at here now, 
Of course, this is voodoo, but you know that thing's got a, a snow look for Memphis, if this is right, with a deep surface low near Atlanta. But the screaming message is that uh, the, the GFS is inferring we're going to get a, a good rain every three days here late this month. And finally, toward the 1st of March, uh, we dry out, and that looks uh, fairly mild as we kick off meteorological spring. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. Next video here, uh, maybe by 4 today, got another, uh, we got a weather radio programming function. We'll be at Academy Sports in Trustville today. Travel might prevent one. We'll, we'll give it a shot. Whatever, we'll have notes in the blog. And don't forget to watch us on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.